Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love, romance, relationship reading and it is from January to February 2021 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Cancer. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your first overarching energy or message in terms of love, romance, relationships. Okay, let me just adjust my microphone one minute. There we go. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirit's Guide. Okay, there we are. Okay, we've got the Tower. Let's clarify this Tower for Cancer, please. Let's clarify this Tower for Cancer. Page of Swords. Okay. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. In terms of love, romance, relationships, and it will be January to February 2021. The sign of Cancer, please. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups here, Cancer. And the first card is your challenge. The second card is or challenge or issue. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the future outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So advice from spirit, we have death. I love the death card, though. It's a great card of transformation. And we have the lovers. Lovers in your outcome, card of Gemini, death is a card of Scorpio. Let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message for Cancer, please. Let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message for Cancer, please. In terms of love, romance, relationships, please. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. Starting with this Eight of Cups. Thank you. So I've got three cards here. Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. And the Six of Swords. The Death card is very nice energy clarified with the Three of Pentacles. And the Lovers. Oh my goodness, look at this. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. Is your bottom of the deck. Okay, Cancer. I mean, it definitely feels in this situation you are you have gone through some change and it feels like some deep change. I mean, the death card is, is deep, deep, deep change. Uh, can be to do with endings here. Because the message is, this tower, yes, it is about change, some kind of life-changing event. You know, as soon as the universe is tested by this, sorry, as soon as the universe t sends the lightning to test the strength of this tower, it's found wanting. It doesn't stand the test of time. It comes crumbling down. We tear down and build many towers in our lives. So it's the cyclical nature of life. Um, but there's a message by the universe that's saying that this isn't built on solid foundations. It's not built to stand the test of time. It's time for this to come down because you're re being realigned out of love by the universe. Towers can be something that changes our world, destabilizes our energy, you know, destabilizes our relationships. Uh, can be truth, revelation, and it does feel for something you've learned something here. Learning something, maybe some truth or information has come to light. Um, or maybe making up your mind in a situation. You know, sometimes we are instigators of our own tower. You know, this is it, it can be an energy of being, you know, divinely timed by the universe, but we also can be instruments of tearing down our own towers if we make our mind up. 
to end something or walk away to something new. So there's a feeling, I mean, the sword's energy is to do with the mind, how I perceive something, but it can also be the page of swords learning something, discovering something. Um, like I said, there could be some truth or you making up your mind to go in a different direction. But nevertheless, it definitely feels like you are absolutely being assisted by God, the universe, the divine towards this new path because I have this new path appearing for you. Okay, and you know, it's, it feels very beautiful. The Eight of Cups is a card of, it can be a card of disappointment, something not living up to what you hoped it would be. Can just be an energy of it's time to walk away, you know, it's run its course, it's time to walk away. This can be somebody walking away from you or you walking away from them. But there's, a, there's an energy with the Eight of Cups. It can actually just be emotionally being ready to move on. Um, so whatever resonates for you in your challenge position. But the Eight of Cups is walking towards the Nine of Cups. Their heart's desire, something better. You want something more. So there's definitely this energy of you do want something more because there's an energy of the Knight of Cups. You're going in search of what brings you happiness. You're going in search of finding that missing cup here. Um, and that's what that Knight of Cups is offering you. He brings change. Um, it feels in this situation, it feels in this situation you're going in search of what makes you happy. Because the, the Queen of Pentacles, male or female energy, might well be that this could be somebody you've walked away from or they've walked away from you in a relationship. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles as an energy is somebody who understands how to, um, she represents something solid, stable, secure. Um, she it can be a healing energy as well. Healing, nurturing, as can the Six of Swords. So for some of you, it feels like maybe you have been healing, regrouping, beginning to go in search of what makes you happy, find, going in search of finding your heart's desire. And it definitely feels in this situation, this, this Six of Swords is an energy of detaching from the troubles, moving from the worst of the situation now, putting it behind you and being that, in that transition to go in search of what makes you really happy. And I love the energy, you know. Six of Swords is a healing energy as well. It's a life transitional energy, can be about traveling, can be moving from A to B, but you're not quite at B yet. You're still in the process of it. Um, can be about moving, relocating, can be for jobs, can be in terms of homes, property, can be in terms of life transitions. My heart is finally ready to move on. So it's that kind of energy. And it feels that, I mean, I love the fact that the death card has come out because the death card is that point in time where you are ready to release the old. So it's wonderful when the death card comes out because it's a sign of you emerging from the past into a new present, you know? It's a shedding of an old skin. It's the catharsis energy of walk, washing away the past washing away that which doesn't serve you anymore and embracing the transformation of you stepping into your light in a new way. You know, it's the Phoenix Rising card, the card of the Phoenix actively destroys the old in order to bring the new in. And it feels you're finally ready to make space for the new. You're ready for that transformation. You're ready to rise in your light now. It feels very, very beautiful, but it can represent endings. Something has, has ended. But we have the Three of Pentacles, which is a wonderful energy of rebuilding. And I sense in this situation, you are rebuilding this new tower. You're re you know, one tower has been torn down and this is the energy of rebuilding a new tower for yourselves. Um, something solid, something more stable, something more secure, maybe being assisted by other people. Now it can be about focusing on your money and career here. Um, can be about you maybe moving property, moving home. But this can also be, um, if it's with somebody else here, the beginnings of something that is forming a, a solid foundation. <clears throat> so it might well be somebody in your life 
has helped you rebuild, may be significant to you, Cancer, may be part of this new relationship that's coming your way because there's definitely something new. And what are you doing? Well, the, the Ace of Pentacles, in a sense, um, it's a great sign of abundance. And remember, abundance, yes, it can be very good in terms of money and career, but it can also be a card of lacking for nothing. It can be a card of um, feeling fulfilled, feeling some, the beginnings of something solid, stable, secure again in your life, you know? Feeling something or someone of value in your life again. And this Ace of Pentacles, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles can be to do with moving, relocating again. Um, so it definitely feels like some of you may well be moving home, relocating. But the this can be manifesting something as well. Yeah. Because the, the, the Ace of Pentacles is a card of manifesting something, the beginnings of something in your solid in your conscious reality, your tangible reality. And what are you manifesting? Well, for some of you, there is an energy of, yes, I mean, for some of you, the Nine of Pentacles can be, if you've been looking at career financial opportunity, I mean, this is a very good card of, of having everything that you need. I mean, this is a card of feeling abundant. It's a card of doing very well on your own materially and and successfully providing for yourself financially job wise career wise um but this is a card of recovery as well for me as a reader the healing complete standing in your own light it's a card of somebody being on their own sometimes in your own self-worth self-esteem feeling pretty good about it and there's definitely this energy of you're ready to manifest something new and what are you ready to manifest something new? Well, it's the lovers, a new relationship. And the lovers is so beautiful. Can sometimes be for me as a reader, opposite attract, opposites attract. Um, but this is also brought together by God, the universe, the divine, joining these two people together. Uh, you know, and it feels for some of you, there could be an energy of divine timing, divine orchestration. Starting something new with somebody, but it's something solid, stable, secure, something that you can trust. This is the building block, something that you can build, someone who you can build your life with. Um, and this is the lover's card, which is a card of love finding harmony, having the same values. Again, there's an energy with the Three of Pentacles, wanting or requiring somebody who has the same values, the same outlook as you to build something solid, stable and secure for the future. This is the solid foundation energy here of having a good platform to build a really solid relationship on. It's a card of kindred spirits. It's a card of like-minded souls. Um, very, very beautiful energy complement each other perfectly and i love the fact that we have the nine and ten, nine and nine and one, uh, ace of pentacles because that makes ten and the ten of pentacles can be a long-term committed relationship so it feels that whatever this new love is for you and it feels a powerful new love it definitely feels like it can go the distance it feels definitely in terms of the ten of pentacles is long-term committed relationship um of great value, of great security, of great abundance. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. So I, I definitely feel whoever this person is coming into your life, it holds great potential. Okay, so let's pull. And it might well be for some of you, you might be wrestling with giving up your independence a little bit. But it feels in this situation this is definitely an opportunity to build something beautiful. Let's pull one more card for Cancer, please, Angel Spirits Guides. One more card for Cancer. Yeah. You know, I love this energy of temperance. Temperance can sometimes be about patience. Um, but it can also be about striking the right balance. It can also be about finding your purpose. And it's a really nice energy of when you temper metal, it becomes twice as strong. 
I'm definitely getting the energy of whatever you've learned from the past. It has taught you life experience on what you're looking for and what you're not looking for now. And there's definitely this energy of somebody who's coming into your life, it feels like some kind of like-minded soul. And there will be a recognition of that. So very beautiful energy here. So I'm going to pull one more. Any other message for cancer? Yeah. Somebody offering you love. And the Knight of Cups is love, real love, pure love. Something that you've been searching for, it feels in this situation you're finding. You're finding it. What you were going in search of, you're finding it here. And it feels like with this new person. Now, like I said, the, said, the cards on the table, we have Scorpio, we have Gemini. Those are the key ones here. So it feels a very beautiful energy here, Cancer. And remember what was missing, you know, the missing cup. It definitely feels for some of you, this adapting to change, how you've adapted and had to adapt to move on from maybe disappointment of the past. It's taught you well in recognising that whatever is coming your way is definitely what you've been searching for. So it feels very beautiful. Final message for Cancer, please. Okay. Okay, there's quite a few here, so I'll go through them quickly. Starfish, we have intuition. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more. Very nice. We have antelope new pathways. Yes, we know that, don't we? We have consider whether you are happy on your current path. And it definitely feels for some of you there is some kind of like change, a uh, new path opening up for you. Again, re-emphasizing maybe that temperance energy, something that is getting balanced back in your life. It could be to do with this offer of love is bringing balance back into your life as well. We have ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. And finally, we have wolf heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. Beautiful energy, Cancer. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.